Um, have you ever considered adding Bitcoin timestamps into the process? Uh, yes, I have. That's a part of the model as I've outlined it in a few documents. And in one of my investigations, actually, um, I have uh, Peter Todd himself <laughs> introducing timestamps uh, on and off into the piece. Um, I think he's made th two or three in one of my investigations. So yeah, um, timestamps are valuable. Um, and that's actually the, the, one of the primary use cases uh, besides the monetary aspect that I see for Bitcoin to help journalism because, um, timestamping in terms of just having a way to establish that a certain document existed, um, before or at a certain time is very useful for certain use cases. Not, not every piece necessarily needs that, but um, for anything where there's some time sensitive aspect or risk of censorship, I think that that's valuable. And it goes very well together with Git commits because there is software out there where every Git commit can be sent to the open timestamp server uh, and yeah. you can publish the open timestamp proof alongside with that Git commit. Uh, and then therefore knowing that nobody else could have messed with this piece of data after that actual time in the Bitcoin blockchain. Uh, it, it, I think it's very interesting for this side as well. Yeah, definitely. And what about uh, signatures or proof of identities or reputations? Where, where do you think this comes in? Uh, well, so by, by default, my commits uh, for my investigations that you can see on GitHub are signed. Um, and I do think that using a reputation layer is important, even for, um, even for journalists who may want to, you know, publish anonymously or pseudo anonymously. In fact, it may even be more important then because when you don't have a, you know, legal straw man, um, identity, uh, then reputation actually becomes more important because you're not relying on, you know, the state issued, uh, form of identity that most people think is so important to apparently our ability to speak or use social media or do anything important. Um, reputation then becomes very important. So using digital signatures to authenticate that you did or said something online is very important to the process. Um, especially if, you know, uh, you would want that if you were communicating with people who are, you know, more prone or not as willing to trust people as easily and are more technical and would be able to understand, oh, this message is signed. Therefore, you know, unless the key has been compromised, this is, this must be them. And as long as you trust their security practices with their keys, um, that's a very good way of, you know, not having to Docs, docs your state ID with everything you do to prove that you actually are who you say you are.